What's up everyone? Today we have another uh, pop review for y'all and I hope you enjoy this one. Uh, you enjoyed the last one. I thank you for all your support on the last one. And uh, this pop is a very cool pop. I really love this figure. I never played the game that it's from. I believe it's Star Wars. It's a Star Wars game. Let's just put it that way. And it's an old game, but I really love this figure and the way he's always looked throughout the, the years that I've seen him. Here's the side art. But we'll get to the box in a minute. Oop. Alrighty. Okay, there we go. We'll get to the box art in just a minute, but I just... I love this figure. I really do. He's a really cool figure. Today we are reviewing Darth Malak, in case you do not know him. He is a Sith, and uh, he ha he looks pretty ready to beat you. I don't know any of the origins on this character. I don't really know anything about, about this character, really, other than he looks pretty cool. So let's, let's discuss the box art. It is that grayish that they've been... Using for the um, uh, game, the Star Wars game uh, pops. I've seen that a couple of times on here. And uh, here's the side box art. In case you see back there, I I like displaying empty boxes like that uh, at times. Here's Darth Malak's side box. There's his number. And uh, he's a really cool pop. And here's the set. Uh, the set includes Yoda Hooded, Shadow Stormtrooper, Darth Raven, and Darth Malak. And I ha I want Darth. I want Darth Raven. And I want. I want. I actually want to collect this set. Here's the other side. It says Darth Malak on the side, and then you got little Darth Malak peeping. And here's the bottom of the box uh, saying, don't put the parts in your mouth. You know, don't put little parts in your mouth. And the uh, Funko, uh, you know, all that stuff. But the box art is really cool. And there's the top in case if I didn't show you. Funko. And uh, let's pop him open. And as always, we're using the little file that comes on the thing to pop the top. Okay. Really learn how I really need to learn how to cut crap out. Okay. Okay. There we go. Alrighty, let's open him up and see how he looks out of the box. I'm afraid that his bobblehead is gonna be facing up because of because in the box he's kind of facing up and his spring showing, so let's hope as soon as we pop him out of the box that will change. Okay. Now, set the figure off to the side, and here is a background, a plain, but black, back, 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 background talk. Okay, but we'll put that back in the box because I never use those. Uh, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay, he's really cool. Oh, and I'm just putting the, popping the plastic back and putting it back in the box. Okay. Now, here we have the figure. And I was afraid of that, that his head, that his bobblehead would be, you know, like, you gotta display him on the low shelf so he'll just, you know, like, and saying hi and stuff. But anyway, this figure is really cool. I really like the detail in the sculpt work of the um, body it's really cool and of course the I don't know what they call that I don't even know how you got that around the mouth and does that come off or is that meant to be there I don't think that line right there is meant to be there okay I don't think that light there that mark is supposed to be there 
But um, overall, I really love the sculpt of the uh, body of the figure. And even though, you know, Funko leaves no stone unturned with the design work of these pops. I mean, look at that. Hold on. Hold on, I need to... Okay. But look at that wilt work on the lightsaber. It's just fascinating. Okay, okay. Quit, quit bobbling for a minute. And then here's the back of the figure of the cape. There's the sculpt work. And as we can see underneath, they still sculpt it under they sculpt it where you cannot see. Which is really great because you know some collectible people don't do that. They don't, you know, I mean, especially with kids' toys like Jack specific Super Mario line. Sometimes when there's something not seen, they don't do anything with it. But with but with Funko, with Funko Pops, even where you can't see, they sculpt. They do the design work. It's really awesome. And let's what the heck? Okay. But anyway, um. Here's the head design, which is really cool. And, you know, even though it is, you know, big head, no eye, you know, like the black eyes, he still looks like Darth Malak to me. I mean, you can look up stuff about Darth, you know, you can look up a picture about Darth Malak and then you look at the Funko Pop, oh, and, and you say, oh, that's Darth Malak, you know. And I believe they haven't made a Darth well, I don't think they have made a previous one of Darth Raven and Darth Malak. No, I don't think they have because, no. Nah. But anyway, here's the, getting sidetracked again. Uh, here's the, even the arm design, look at that. Look at how crisp that is. That is just wonderful. I really love the design of this, well, Hold on. Okay. I really love the design of this pop and, you know, you know, but I'm going, I don't really know what to do about that showing because, you know, most, some of my outdoor pictures, you know, it's camera up. So I'm going to have to, you know, try to take pictures of this guy with the cam, you know, with the camera kind of facing down on the figure. Because usually mine are facing up on the figure. But he's a really cool thing to add to. To add to your uh, collection. I think he would be. And uh, I really like him. I'm really glad that I have him to my collection. And uh, I believe that's it. So if you all want to see more videos like this. And if you do want to see my past review video, I reviewed Leatherhead, which I got his box right there, part of my background. But if you want to go see that video, just go to my channel. You know, just go to my channel, look at that video. And if you want to watch both of these videos and make a decision for yourself, if you want to subscribe to me or not, you know, that's your decision. I'm, you know, but do subscribe. But do please subscribe to me. Um, I'm on Instagram and Twitter. And on um, Twitter, you know, I just post like... I, sometimes I post pictures, but it's just, you know, mostly for me to look on Star Wars stuff, you know. But anyway, if you all enjoyed this video, please leave a like down below. And, uh, you know, if consider... You know, if you don't like the video, don't like it, but consider to subscribe. You know, I'm not forcing you, but subscribe now, okay? I, I see you. I see you not subscribed, so you subscribe right now, okay? I'll catch you in the next one, and hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day.